when did that happen? What happened? My little boy turned into a heartbroken teenager mm. who won't come out of his room. I know. It feels a bit weird with Marshall not being around. I got used to him. Like he was part of the family. Oh, I spoke to him earlier at his Aunt Jean's. Had a nice chat with her as well. She's a lovely lady. Sounds like he's in a good place, literally. Good. Well, I'd offer to have a chat with Arthur, but I reckon I'm too ancient to understand. <laughs> Sounds like the uh, stag was a lot more eventful than the hen do. Oh, you mean with Rishi thinking he can force his way in, throwing his money behind the bar to cover everyone's drinks? I mean, what part of back off doesn't he understand? Uh, Rishi, Marshall and Arthur, maybe we should put therapy on the wedding gift list. <laughs> well, we've already got a knife set. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to tell me? My son is now living with my repugnant sister-in-law. It was bad enough Marshall staying here. But now you've... You've handed him over to that ungodly woman. That's his aunt. An aunt he thought had abandoned him because of your lies. That was for the best. I wasn't going to let her poison his life. Oh, because you can do that all on your own, can't you? Laurel, I want her address right now. You're not going to get it. And you've got some nerve coming round here after what you did to Marshall. What is he doing here? Right, can you go back to your room, please? What's he saying about Marshall? This is all happening because of you. I beg your pardon? All that utter filth you put in his mind, corrupting him. Don't you dare talk to my son like that! He was a good lad. You ruined him. All of you. No, we gave him somewhere he could call home because he was scared to death of you. I'm his father! Yeah, the absolute worst kind. You traumatised him. You made his life hell. Oh, I don't have to listen to this. You know, I saw him with his aunt yesterday and I saw the love between them, the real love. Something you couldn't give him. You won't tell me where he is. I'll track him down myself. No, he's where he belongs and that's where he's going to stay. And between me, Jean and the whole family, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure he doesn't end up back with somebody like you.